me to do my March favorites. Now these are just products that I've been using a lot and loving throughout the month of March. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with my makeup products. And the first thing I have is my NARS Sheer Matte Foundation. Now I wear the shade Fiji and I have absolutely been loving this foundation. It's a little bit weird to work with at first and blending can be a challenge at first but once you get used to it it really leaves a nice finish on your skin and this shade matches my skin perfectly I'm wearing it right now and I just can't say enough good things about it I have really oily skin and this controls my oil throughout the day but if you don't have oily skin, I would not recommend this foundation for you. I would go for the Sheer Glow, which also has been working really well for me, but I don't want to give a full review on it yet. So for now, I am saying that I absolutely love my Sheer Matte Foundation. Okay, so as far as eyeshadows go, the first one I have is Max Era Eyeshadow, which looks like this. And this is a satin finish, and it's just a really nice sandy beige color. And I've been loving this all over my lid when I'm in a hurry and I don't really want something too dramatic, but I do want a little bit of color, I reach for this eyeshadow. Now the next eyeshadow I have is actually an eyeshadow duo, and this was featured in my NARS Starter Kit video, and it's the eyeshadow duo in Charade. And this is a gorgeous combination if you kind of have light brown eyes like I do. This really enhances your eye color, and I've been wearing the kind of mauvey pink color all over my lid with the grayish purple in the crease and the outer corner. And the guy at the NARS counter recommended this to me, and I normally don't go for matte eyeshadows. I usually don't like them at all, but I have been loving this, especially over MAC's Bare Study Paint Pot. Now I have one mascara that I've really been loving this month, and it's something that I never really expected to love because when I first got it, I really didn't like it. And it's L'Oreal's Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black. And when I first got this and first tried it, I absolutely hated it and I couldn't stand it. And it just kind of sat in my makeup drawer for a long time without getting used. And then I started running out of mascara, so I just started using this and I actually really like it now. Um, I don't know what it was at first, I guess I just wasn't used to working with it, but I really liked how much volume it gives my lashes. It really makes them look long and full, and I really like how black it is, because I love black mascara, and this is about as black as you can go. So I've really been enjoying this as well. So the last makeup item I have is Benefits Box Powder in Coralista, and the box looks like this. And this is just a really pretty corally pink blush. I have it on right now, and I have been loving this so much. There's shimmer in it, but not too much. It smells amazing, and I normally don't like products that have fragrance in it, but this doesn't bother me at all, and it doesn't make me break out. And I find that it just leaves a really nice flush across my face. It's really similar to NARS Deep Throat, only not so shimmery. So I really, really like it. So throughout this past month, I've really been loving nude nails and nude nail polish, light pinks, but more specifically, nail polish that just kind of blends in with your natural skin tone. And the nail polish that I have been wearing so much is Max Abalone Shell, and I have it on right now and you can see how much it just blends right in with my skin tone. I absolutely love it. I think it just gives a really unique look and it's something different from all the baby pinks that you're used to seeing. So I've really been loving this. And this came out with the Spring Forecast collection. I can't remember which one. So this is limited edition. I'm not sure if you can still buy it. You may be able to buy it. I'm really not sure. But OPI's Samoan Sand is a really, really good dupe for this. Alright, so if you guys follow me on Twitter, then you know that I ordered some Sigma brushes not too long ago. And I have absolutely been loving them. More specifically, these brushes right here. So I'm going to go through them really fast. And the first brush I have is the SS150, which I use to apply bronzer all over my face just to kind of warm up my complexion. And then I have the SS187, which is this stippling duo fiber brush. And I use this to apply my NARS 
NARS Sheer Matte Foundation. Then I have the SS168, which is an angled brush, and I use this to apply um, my mineralized skin finish just right here across my cheekbones as a highlight. Then I have the SS224, which is just a blending brush, and I just use this to blend out my eyeshadows. And then the SS239, which is a flat shader brush, and I just use this to apply eyeshadow across my lid. And then the last brush I have is the SS219, which is a crease brush, and people are always asking me what a good crease brush is is and this is definitely a great one. It's the best one that I have ever used and it really gives you precise um, application in the crease so it's great for eyeshadows in the crease and the outer corner as well. Okay so my next favorite is actually this ring that I'm wearing right here and I wore this in my NARS starter kit video and ever since then I've been getting so many questions on it and I put all the information in the sidebar where you can get this, but it's just a double fingered ring like this. So it looks like this on the inside and it wraps around your fingers and then these little jewels just come in between your fingers. And I think it looks really cool. My friend thought it looked kind of weird, but I'm a weird person so you know it fits me. But um, yeah, I've really been loving this ring and it's from Metro Park. And I checked online and I didn't see it online, but they have it in stores. So if you have a Metro Park near you, you might want to go ahead and check that out. The last kind of beauty related product that I have is um, a Bath and Body Works body spray in warm vanilla sugar. I have gone through so many of these and I recently just started using it again and I absolutely love it. I'm really not too big of a fan of like sweet smells, but I really, really love this. It smells like vanilla cookies or like sugar cookies and I even got the home fragrance for it that you plug into the wall so when you walk into our apartment it smells like we're always baking cookies and it smells absolutely amazing. Okay so I have one more March favorite which isn't beauty related at all but I thought it was kind of fun and funny and it's kind of like an inside joke between my roommates and I and it's honey bunches of oats. If you follow me on Twitter, then you know that I'm constantly eating this cereal. And I've been loving the strawberries and peaches one. It tastes so good. And I swear my roommate and I are like the poster children for honey bunches of oats. If you look on top of our refrigerator, that's all there is. We just have so many. When we go to the grocery store, we just stock up if they're on sale. So yeah, I've really been loving this cereal too. So yeah, that is all for my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or comments, make sure that you leave them down below. But other than that, I will see you all later. Bye.